Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 12th to the 18th of April 2021. I hope you're well Scorpio. The readings are a little bit late. I just had a ridiculously busy week last week and obviously I don't do readings when I don't feel the energy quite strongly. So yeah, hopefully uh, I like time to do the readings properly. So what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel, spirits, guides, message for Scorpio. First message, please, for the week. Okay, so I have number seven, do not fear the unknown Scorpio. Yeah, feels like something new is coming your way. And it's meant for you, by the way. Yeah, it's meant for you. That's definitely what I'm getting. Angels, what is the message for Scorpio? Thank you. Message for Scorpio, thank you. Yeah, oh my goodness, how funny. Divine timing, yeah, it's meant for you. At exactly the time it's meant for you as well. Something that you can't force, something that you can't rush. Um, things happen where they're exactly meant to happen and it feels for some of you, uh, this week is quite pivotal, okay. So I'm going to pull three cards, Scorpio, and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message. You know, by now we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay. Message for our lovely Scorpios, please. Message for Scorpio. 12th to the 18th of April, 2021, please. What do we have for Scorpio? Message for Scorpio, thank you. There we go, two cards. One's energy, which is all about action, potential, passion. So we have the seven of wands and the nine of wands. And that's in your challenge position, Scorpio. Another seven, we have the seven of pentacles and advice from spirit and your near future outcome. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the world. Wow, those follow quite nicely. Okay, so let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Scorpio, please. I'm definitely getting an energy of you. You've got a lack of clarity here on something. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Scorpio. Message for Scorpio, please. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, I've got the Eight of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. There you are, Scorpio. You are the Death card. Okay, and the Four of Swords. I love that with the world card and bottom of the deck we have the three of wands yeah there's an energy here of and i am getting a bit of the not necessarily fear factor but just you're not quite clear in terms of how something is going to pan out um and yet the message is that you're so close it's been a challenging time most definitely and i feel this has been to do with money career finances You've been challenged in, uh, you know, whatever this Eight of Pentacles is. It can be in terms of education and learning, qualifications, um, skills development, you know, learning new trades, skills, industries, whatever this is. Um, but it can also be somebody who's been working extremely hard to bring material gain into their life. And it, it feels there's definitely an energy of perseverance throughout this reading you have to keep going because yeah you are getting on top of the situation even though there has been a feeling of being overwhelmed and feeling pretty tired and wanting to give up throwing the towel um but the nine of wands is telling you that you are so close you are so close even though you don't have the clarity even though fear and doubt uncertainty creep in with that card it is a test of faith 
you are being tested and it feels to do with money career finances in whatever format this is for you money career finances or like i said there could be some educational thing here going on um but the message is keep at it persevere you're closer than you think and it feels like the success worldly success is closer than you think because it's coming yes and the period of being tested and waiting and persevering will soon come to an end so you know i i love these energies here scorpio because you are the phoenix rising uh the original phoenix rising because this is your card and you know the pluto energy in the death card is all about death destruction transformation rebirth so there's definitely an energy of a period of waiting, a period of perseverance, a period of putting your energy and feeling frustrated that you're not getting where you want to get to quickly enough. Um, and it's taken a lot of energy and time and perseverance and focus and practical skills, you know, practical energy, day to day work, Groundhog Day. Um, but the message is good things come to those that wait here. The change is coming. The deep change is coming. The deep transformation is coming. You are emerging from one period of your life to another. Just keep going. And that is the message here. Because this is your metamorphosis. You will shed the old and embrace the new soon. Sooner than you think. So I love the energy for that reason. The big transformation is coming your way. And we have the recovery here. You know, the Four of Swords, I feel, is to do with the recovery. Um, now, the Three of Wands is your ships are coming in. So for some of you, it feels to do with that could be an opportunity, that could be the money that you're working towards, that could be the business that you want, the client that you want, uh, the sales that you want, call it what you will. This is the first signs of success, the Three of Wands. Expansion, things opening up. Um, yeah, it just feels for some of you, there's a message of keep on going because your ships are coming in. They're not quite in the harbour yet with the Three of Wands, but they're absolutely coming. And it definitely feels like you'll get perspective. You know, there's recovery here. Um, yeah, there's definitely recovery. Also, Scorpio, um, there is an energy of if you are working exceptionally hard, make sure you take a break, get a breather, connect to the country, connect to the the outside, you know, get perspective, you know, take care of you as well. Because there's something to do with divine timing. Things will happen when they're meant to happen. So just surrender to this unknown energy. You and that, Because there, it feels towards the end of this week, some of you may be beginning to have signs of success, first glimpses of success, which is going to lead to some kind of victory, success, worldly success, accomplishment. This is a major completion card, but it can be a goal achievement card. Um, it feels like what you've been working towards, there is the victory wreath, there is the success, there's the winning. Um, so again, I mean, this is very good in terms of educational things, qualifications, uh, thesis, you know, doctorates you know uh training you know new qualifications getting new skills it can be that you know but it can also be to do with an offer an opportunity um you're getting exactly what you've been working towards where you are one step away from completion here this is the goal this is the completion so it, it feels there's just almost kind of like one thing to go uh one hurdle to jump you know it could be to do with interviews it could be to do with exams it could be to do with uh, submission of coursework it could be to do with a meeting you know whatever this is for you scorpio it feels like you're just one step away so keep going it's closer than you think i'm gonna pull yeah because you know i see this queen of wands you know she is somebody who is offering you and it definitely feels she holds the wand that completes the nine and plus one is 10, which is a completion. So I'm definitely seeing that this person is influential in um, maybe offering you something, but this because it's Mars energy, which can tie in with your energy as well. We have Pluto and Mars here. Um, 
There's definitely this energy here, Scorpio, of you holding the wand, you being on your throne, you being in your power by continue, continuing to act on your intuition and be the warrior, the fighting spirit, you know, um, perseverance, that warrior queen energy, because card of Aries, generally for me as a reader, um, it definitely feels in this energy that if you are persevering and staying in your power you will see some kinds of first signs of success either from somebody a leader magnetic leader charismatic leader um or you achieving the goal you achieving the opportunity you achieving what you set out to achieve it feels very beautiful so i'm going to pull a final card for you what do we have for scorpio please angels spirits guides message for scorpio and the message from the universe is you know you don't have the clarity here moon in sagittarius it's been a tough journey you know but you're closer than you think you know the moon energy is i don't have the clarity i'm taking action but i'm not sure how close i am to the to the victory to the success and the message is very close you'll have the first signs coming and it feels very soon Okay. Yeah, we have rabbit sensitive soul, strengthen your boundaries and cut cords. There's definitely an energy of the Phoenix rising. I'm so pleased that you've appeared in your reading uh, because, you know, this is in the advice from spirit energy. It feels like you being back in your element, you um, emerging from one phase of your life to another is very, very close. So keep on going. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Scorpio. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.